Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. An aggressive impulse move may be on the horizon, according to many chart analysts, which I'll be highlighting in this video, but if they're right, perhaps not before some serious uh, correction time to the downside. I'll tell you just how low they think it may be going here, but uh, this is not something to be scared about for over the long haul, because look, adoption's coming. Yeah, in many ways, adoption of crypto is unfolding as I and many others predicted years ago in that mainstream adoption and crypto ad campaigns, but, but specifically, listen to this, specifically cryptocurrency ad campaigns at the Super Bowl. And, uh, and so crypto is not going away. In fact, here, take a look at this headline. Uh, this is from Fortune. The Super Bowl is now being called Crypto Bowl as upstart finance firms spend millions on TV ads. And I, as well as many others, said, hey, look, it seems impossible right now, but at some point in the future, crypto is going to be so mainstream that you'll be seeing cryptocurrency ads at the Super Bowl and in all sorts of other areas of normal life. It's big because look here, cr crypto is not going away. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. All data indicates XRP continues to be adopted and temporary downward price action does nothing to shatter the reality that XRP price has been trending to the upside on the macro scale along with the rest of the crypto asset class and XRP has been heading that direction for almost an entire decade despite uh, instances, multi-year instances where it appears to be mostly just moving sideways. The trend is still up. So anyway, plenty to talk about here, but before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind, I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. Now, uh, although technically, if you look over the last 24 hours, crypto markets are green, uh, directionally over the last few hours or so, uh, we've been heading to the downside, it's just we haven't seen enough downside action that we're in a sea of red, but who knows... You are future people. I am past moon Lambo. I've already recorded this. You're listening at some point into the future, even if just after I posted this, you know more than me already. But at the time I'm recording this, XRP is at 61 cents. Bitcoin's at $37,847. Market cap at $1.78 trillion for the asset class. And Bitcoin dominance at 40.21%. And I'll tell you what, I will not be convinced, again, that the end is near until Bitcoin dominance hits new lows. And I believe it's it's all-time lowest, last market cycle, by the way, is when it occurred, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 35%, and that's when altcoins were popping off. I will not be surprised to see it go much lower. Uh, crypto fear and greed index at 20 out of 100, same as yesterday, literally. Uh, market participants are very scare scare. Womp womp. I don't think it makes sense for that because we're in... <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're in a sea of opportunity, folks. Yes, there are drawdowns, but damn it. Where do you think this asset class is going to be if you fast forward 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years? Worth way more than today, correct? Right? Do you are you are you that unconfident? Like do you really think that crypto is going to go away because like there's going to be needs to shift in a lot of the I, in fact, I'll say this and I've said it before, but most of the cryptocurrencies that I hold, I suspect are going to go the way of the dodo which is my ex favorite extinct avian creature. They're going to they're they're going to die off. And I hold almost 30 cryptocurrencies, I believe. Uh, they're, they're just I'm I'm just speculating because the trend is up because people aren't sufficiently parsing out the differences, so I'm recognizing that and trying to take advantage of it. Uh, but those cryptocurrencies that solve real problems will be the ones that that um, stick around. So yes, we need to watch for that, but I'm just saying in a general sense, does that not represent the greatest financial opportunity of your entire lifetime? Does it does it not? You guys tell me. And I'm not telling you to buy or sell or hold anything. I don't know your circumstances, but that's what it looks like to me. Uh, now, I wanted to briefly highlight this because it was kind of funny seeing something like this coming from uh, an entity such as CoinMarketCap. They're recognizing crypto tribalism, and I kind of got a kick out of it, so I thought I'd just highlight this. I'll let the video play silently in the background as I'm talking here. But there's a scene from the movie 300 that was modified. And they have this line that says, when Bitcoin maxis and XRP army enter a room together. And so there's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the the the, uh, the the Spartans here they are the, they're the good guys and then the bad guys in this funny enough the Bitcoin maximalists uh, they're, they're the bad guys and look look at this, this is Max Kaiser check this out if you're looking at the screener this is this it's freaking funny man uh, he's got laser eyes shooting at them look at that <laughs> are you looking at this you got to see this man there's Max Kaiser <laughs> superimposed he's got his laser eyes shooting at the at the XRP army and so Coin Market Cap anyway they shared this this video clip. <laughs> Love these pictures 
And they wrote, why are we like this? And they just got laugh emojis. And so I thought it was a pretty funny clip. And um, <laughs> a number of uh, uh, people responded to this, not surprisingly. And I wanted to share with you a couple of the responses that I thought made sense. Here's somebody named Darwin Boy and wrote to CoinMarketCap and said, uh, the XRP army is the way it is because they have had to defend XRP from the Bitcoin and ETH maxi trolls for about 10 years. There has been an organized FUD campaign of deliberate lies and misinformation constantly directed at XRP by Wall Street, the USA media and Bitcoin and Ethereum maxis. That is so true. That is absolutely true. Like I've been around since November 2017, and I, I'm telling you, it's not, by and large, it is not people from the XRP community going out of their way to troll people who are in the Bitcoin community exclusively or Bitcoin maximalists. It's not. In fact, a ton of XRP holders, myself included, hold Bitcoin and are long Bitcoin. We're not out there explicitly, by and large, there are exceptions, but there are, there are by and large, our community is not attacking Bitcoin. It's the case that these immature trolls, these Bitcoin maxi trolls who enjoy feasting on room temperature cottage cheese and live under bridges staying warm by dumpster fires, those are the terrible creatures, the smelly terrible creatures that mumble to themselves and waddle around in circles that attack the XRP community, not the other way around. And I'm telling you, I'm observing this. You can find examples that go the other way, fine. But I'm just my experience, my lived experience is that that is not what is happening here. That is not. Um, because again, and it shouldn't be surprising, XRP holders, by and large, pro-Bitcoin, even we just recognize that XRP is technologically superior, superior, right? And, and which isn't surprising, David Schwartz, along with Arthur Brito and Jed McCaleb, they created it to be a better version of Bitcoin, and they succeeded, right? And then there was this from uh, Frecky, who is, is, is a member of the XRP community. He's been a Bitcoin holder since 2011. That's right, 11 years, roughly. Uh, also happens to have a financial background. And so he shared this on this topic. He wrote, because again, the question, why are we like this, this tribalism here? And Frecky responded and wrote, because XRP is constantly attacked by Bitcoin and ETH maxis. You do that for years and this is what happens. And yes, that is absolutely true. Just thought I'd highlight it here. And then there was this, there was this <laughs> brainlet guy. This is from XRP me on Twitter. Shared this, this picture of this brainlet here. I'll make it full screen. Uh, don't you love these brainlet creatures? So there's this guy like drooling on himself and his head is, there's actually a microwave built into his head and you can see his brain through the window and it's just steaming there and he's drooling and the caption is, Bitcoin's going to $10 million, XRP's going to zero. Th yeah, that's the sentiment, isn't it? Thank you, Mr. Brainlet guy. You gotta love that. All right, now to this piece from the Daily Huddle. Bitcoin setting up for unexpected bullish impulse according to top crypto analyst. A popular analyst is making the case for why Bitcoin might be on the cusp of breakout after two months of disappointing price action. The pseudonymous trader Credible Crypto tells his 304,800 Twitter followers what the general consensus is for Bitcoin after its late January rally from the $33,500 level to a whisker below $39,000. Here's a quote from Credible Crypto. Many are experiencing a rejection, are expecting rather, many are expecting a rejection around forty dollars to $44,000 and then a dump below $30,000. I'm expecting a pullback at forty dollars to $44,000, but still expecting thirty dollars to $32,000 to hold. And then a breakout to $50,000 plus. Would be cool if we just grind through forty dollars to $44K on the first go too, though. And so you'll see that... <laughs> Here, here's a key takeaway as I go through this. And don't be scared by any of this stuff. I don't think it makes sense to be scared personal anyway. The, all of the analysts as I go through this, they do believe despite a pullback, we're going to see a big move to the upside. It's inevitable. XRP has been consolidating for how long? You don't think it's eventually going to burst? Well, I sure as hell do. And, and, and all of these analysts expect the crypto asset class on the whole, including Bitcoin leading. It's going to go that way. They disagree on just how low things are going to go, but that's fine. I, I appreciate the takes here. Anyway, peace continues. Credible then takes to video sharing website Loom to do an in-depth Bitcoin chart analysis, and he says that chart watchers may not even realize when the breakout they've been looking for is actually underway. And here's another quote from him. It's not easy to tell that we've started a new impulse until it's already very, very apparent. What I mean by that is, we get an impulse, so you get some consolidation, we get another small impulse, we get some consolidation. At this point, people are thinking, we're at supply, we're going to break down and head down from here. But realistically, what happens sometimes, 
uh, and uh, and what will typically happen if we're already working on the next impulse is we'll consolidate and we'll lift off and continue up and get these aggressive impulsive moves followed by shadow consolidations and then more and more aggressive moves. By the time we know what's happening, you zoom out, your fifth ray wave is already well on its way and we're just bursting to the upside, end quote. So wouldn't mind to see it. And again, in a, in a general sense, to the upside, that's still where the vast majority, almost 100% of the analysts that I follow still believe that's what's in store for us, even if notable pain in the short term. All of them with rare exception believe that is the case. Uh, in fact, so here's a tweet from analyst Love Crypto who thinks in the short term we might see more pain, but also believes that we're going to be really zooming to the upside <clears throat> regardless. He wrote the following. The more I examine the charts, the more this makes sense to me. One more leg down to 32,000s. Green February, get to many bullish again, which is a trap. And then he says bloody March to 26,000s for Bitcoin. And he writes at this point, vast majority are out of the markets. And then he says full send roaring Q2. So he's talking about the market getting flushed out, which is something historically that happens from time to time, time to time. And then psh, zooms on out of there. So again, it's 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 not that scary. Like even if this happens, I'm just I'm gonna be completely chill. I'll tell you what, I don't care if Bitcoin hits 20 grand or whatever the price would be. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but even if it did, I'm just gonna be like, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna hold because it doesn't matter because I'm not an idiot and I understand that the market's been trending up and more and more money's just gonna continue to flow in because there's real value in the world of crypto, period. It's messy for a number of reasons. Uh, not the least of which is that humans are just trying to figure out which cryptos deserve to be here. It's a messy process. The market is figuring this out. Again, we saw it during the dot-com boom and bust. You know, Pets.com was a huge company back then, at least in terms of uh, market uh, um, <clears throat> market cap. Absolutely huge. Money just pouring in like crazy. And and wh wh where are they now? They, they don't exist. It didn't work. So look, the, it's a messy process. And people invest serious money in things that end up going away. This is this is the market figuring it out though. It's still going to move to the upside. Here's a here's a, a perspective from chart analyst Michael Vandepop. He wrote, <clears throat> overall, most likely case is another sweep of the lows for Bitcoin, around thirty to thirty three thousand dollars, and after that we create a bullish divergence and the fun continues. So again, like I said at the outset, folks, th this is the a general expectation. They disagree on how low things go, but upside comes after. Cool, don't mind that. And they disagree on the timeline too, but you know. Uh, here's another one from chart analyst Del Capo. Bitcoin. Price didn't reach 40000 as expected, <clears throat> and it has broken the $38,000 support. <clears throat> Next support is $35,000. Below that, it will probably go below $30,000. Be careful with setting bids just below $30,000 because the liquidation cascade could be big and reach low 20000 Yes, indeed. So uh, <laughs> stop losses. <laughs> just beware out there. Um, and then there was this from Fortune. The Super Bowl is now being called Crypto Bowl as upstart finance firms spend millions on TV ads. You gotta love this. This is something that several years ago, in 2017 specifically, when I jumped into crypto, this stuff like this is being discussed, and I, I was thinking about it too. I had mentioned about it even in my early YouTube career, you know, <laughs> if you can call it that. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's something that was conceptually on the radar, but seemed very far away but it's here. And so, hell, I don't even know if these companies investing um, and, and putting money into the, into the Super Bowl are going to be around if you fast forward a decade. That's not the point. It's a messy process, but the market's figuring out. The point is, it is being adopted. It is mainstream, even if, to, even if not to a sufficient degree as far as we're concerned. It's being adopted, right? So we're still early adopters at this point, I would argue, if you look at a technology bell curve, but it's happening. <clears throat> anyway, peace reads. As follows, in a video posted to Twitter on Wednesday, <clears throat> Miami Heat basketball star Jimmy Butler said, On February 13th, you're going to hear some of the biggest names telling you to get into crypto, but they don't know you or your finances, only you do. Trust yourself and do your own research. That's the quote. Well, that sounds a little bit ominous, right? And the piece reads as follows, The hitch, the video was an ad from Binance. <gasps> How about that? The world's largest cryptocurrency exchange. Binance's Chinese-Canadian CEO CZ is now the world's richest crypto billionaire and ranks number 15 on the list of the world's wealthiest people with a net worth of $73.4 billion. And that's before counting his crypto cash, according to Bloomberg estimates. 
That's insane. Uh, Binance's Butler video uh, but uh, was a nod to the fact that some of the biggest rivals have shelled out big bucks to secure ad spots during the upcoming Super Bowl on February 13th, in which some people are now calling Crypto Bowl. <laughs> Bahamas-based FTX and Hong Kong and Singapore headquartered Crypto.com, which rank in the top 10 crypto exchanges worldwide, according to CoinGecko, have likely paid millions for 30-second ads during the upcoming championship game. Additionally, Canada's BitBuy teamed up with Miami Heat guard Kyle Lowry for a Super Bowl commercial, marking the first time that a Canadian crypto firm has partnered with a professional sports star. And I don't want to read the whole article. I just kind of want to get the point across. And by the way, I, I will mention this, though. Um, they note here, uh, the, the network NBC was asking as much as $7 million dollars for a 30-second spot. $7 million. Well, I'll tell you what, a lot of these crypto firms, uh, that's that's like nothing to them. You know, the, the, they'll, they'll wipe their rear sides with $7 million. And uh, apparently that's up 27% compared to the previous year. Insane money, folks. Absolutely insane money here. But, but look, in a general sense, this is positive. I, I like attention being brought to crypto, which is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And again, the market moves in tandem. XRP is part of the market, therefore up. Until at some point, people sufficiently parse out the differences between cryptos, but I don't believe there's an opportunity for that to happen until there's a come to Jesus moment, which means we need to have a bubble inflate and then pop and then bear market. And then that's, that's going to be the opportunity point for people to figure this out and stop investing in stupid things that don't make any damn sense. I just don't think it's going to happen when the market's in a frenzy and the bubbles are just inflated. I just don't see that happening prior to that. Same with the dot-com boom and bust. Everybody put money into everything that was a dot-com. It wasn't until the bubble burst that people were like, okay, well, uh, that was quite the rager we had last night. Maybe uh, going to nurse this hangover now and, and maybe not be as stupid in the future, right? <laughs> That's pretty much it. So either way, though, everything all good. I'll go ahead and wrap up there, though. I am not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.